Welcome back to Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where we are still waiting for our V10 software update. <sighs> Patience, it's not easy. Um, the waiting is the hardest thing. That's what Tom Petty said, and it is so true. We have been waiting for the last three days, anxiously checking our car every couple of hours whenever we're connected to a Wi-Fi network to see when V10 was going to come down to Lucky. It is still not here. We still do not have our V10 update after three, the th like three of the longest days ever. Uh, anyway, I searched on YouTube and I've seen, I, I stopped counting at a hundred version 10 software update videos. Now we have our uh, software setting in the car set for uh, advanced from standard to advanced. Elon tweeted about that recently. We pay attention to Elon's tweets. And so I thought there must be something else going on here. There must be something. Why haven't we gotten our software update? So I was reflecting on a recent call I made to Tesla about the dune buggy game. Why we hadn't received our dune buggy game when our friends, the Wrap My Tesla family with the Model X, their kids are playing dune buggy in their three and in their X. So I called Tesla and I asked about this and I learned that unfortunately we're not going to be getting dune buggy to our 2016 P90D Model X because the hardware system, the software system will not accommodate it. So apparently, and I have to look at my uh, notes here, we have the old MCU1 computer system and touch screen that has an Intel processor. No. That's wrong. That's what we want. We wish we had the Intel processor. Intel processor is in the new MCU 2 computer um, computers and uh, touchscreens that Tesla switched to in March of 2018. So prior to March 2018, they were using the old MCU 1 computer and touchscreen, which was N N NVIDIA processor, not an Intel processor. So because of that, we don't have the right processor, the right hardware technology in our car for the dune buggy. And as I feared, the same is true for most of the updates that are coming down in uh, V10. So I called Tesla today to verify this and to go through with them, you know, what features we could be excited to receive in V10 and which of the like really exciting features that everybody else is posting videos about will we not get in our 2016 uh, Model X. So let's see here. Um, Tesla theater with Netflix and YouTube, not for us, not gonna get that update. Karaoke, we're not going to get that update either. Uh, we're not going to get Cuphead in the Tesla Arcade. I don't know what that is. And then there's some dash cam and sentry mode features that we're not going to get, not because of the computer software, but because of the sensors and the camera software with our older uh, vehicle, including Smart Summon. We're not going to be getting Smart Summon. I'm not going to be able to do a Smart Summon video for you in this car. So that's that's that and you know while we're disappointed that we're not going to get some of these software updates i do want to focus on the positives here first of all six months ago we made the decision to buy a used 2016 model x i wouldn't change that decision for anything in the world we love lucky we're having a great great experience with this model x with this tesla vehicle and the reality is, is that by buying used versus the new one, we saved about $35,000, $36,000. And let's see, I don't know if watching YouTube and Netflix in your car is worth thirty-five dollars or $36,000. I mean, let's be, uh, let's be real here. So we saved a lot of money by getting the, uh, the slightly older uh, system. And we've gotten some great new features added to our car since we had the vehicle. We're still getting the benefit of the over-the-air software updates. We got Ludicrous Plus mode. In fact, you know, as I look through all of the smart summon videos that are already online and all the V10 software updates online, it reminded me that we discovered Ludicrous Plus in a software update um, 
kind of accidentally. And when we posted our ludicrous mode video, which I'll put the link at the uh, end to, um, there were only like maybe two or three ludicrous plus videos on YouTube. So we were one of the first. Well, we're not going to be one of the first with V10. We are accepting that now. But uh, we did get ludicrous plus mode via software update. We got chess. We got Swedish language. We got Norwegian language. We got enhancements to dog mode. We're constantly getting navigation map updates. So it's all good. We're still so, so excited to have our Tesla 2016 Tesla Model X. Lucky that we love. And there'll be something in this new software update for us that will be fun. It just won't be Smart Summon or Netflix or YouTube or Cuphead, whatever that is. What is Cuphead? I am not sure. Cuphead. We're still going to get Joe mode. Don't know what that is. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling hungry. Kind of think I know what that is. That could be fun. That could be... I think that could be makes for some good adventures that maybe we'll capture in a future video. Um, but in the meantime, we're still waiting for our V10 software update. We just may wait with a little bit less uh, intensity, I guess, <laughs> now that we know it's not going to bring us Netflix and I can't rewatch all of the Bloodline episodes uh, in the car while I'm charging. I wish I could. But I can't. I'd have to do that on my laptop now, wouldn't I? This got into God, there's another option. So we're still going to be anxious to do a software update video once we get our V10 software update. But we're going to need to make our video a little different. So what we're going to do with our V10 update is we're going to focus on those of us that have used model Teslas, or maybe they bought it new, but they were early, early adapters and bought it, you know, way before March of 2018 and still love their Teslas and still keeping their Teslas. What is in it for us, for the pre-March 2018 Tesla drivers with the old MCU1 computer system and screen? We'll find out soon. Maybe the update will come in another day or two. We do have the advanced feature set. So stay tuned and we hope that you will still come back and watch our software update video, even though we're not going to be one of the first 100 V10 software update videos on YouTube. We'll try to make our video different and fun. I don't know what we will do, but we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll consult with Carly. By the way, Carly is at school right now, which is uh, why she's not with me. Hi, Carly. I know she's going to watch this video. Last night I posted an auto drive, autopilot drive time video and within like five seconds we had a like and I went into Carly's room and I was like, was that you? And she said, yeah. She gave us a like before she even watched it. She gave it a, gave it a like and she wasn't in that one. So that's saying something, right? Saying something. So anyway, thank you so much for watching uh, Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky the Tesla. We sincerely hope you will consider subscribing to our channel, clicking the bell for notification so that when we do post our V10 software update, you can watch that uh, video as well. And we just really appreciate the support, all the comments, all the ideas that we've been getting from our viewers. We really, really want to do a good job promoting the electric vehicle lifestyle as really fun, as more affordable than you might think, and as more convenient than a lot of people think. That's, that's what we're trying to do with this channel. We appreciate any ideas that you want to send our way, any feedback, we can take it. We would love feedback. Uh, so thank you again for watching. I hope everybody has safe travels in their Teslas. And for all of you who get the, uh, the Tesla theater and can watch YouTube in your car, hey, watch Tesla Lucky while you're charging at the superchargers. Go back and binge watch Carly's supercharger social time. She's met some great people. Uh, go back and watch Ludicrous Plus mode and uh, think about us while you're charging in your, uh, in your new uh, Tesla with the MCU2 um, screen. Seriously, great features. We're, uh, we're jealous, but we're happy for all the Tesla owners that have the new, um, the new system that they bought since March of 2018. Um, 
hats off to you people. I don't have a hat. I would take it off if I did. So anyway, thank you again so much for watching and we will see you in another test lucky video soon safe travels to everyone in your tesla and if you're thinking about buying a tesla it's a really good idea we highly recommend it for so many reasons uh, go back and look at some of the videos on our channel the top five features video or even just carly's supercharger social time videos and hear what real tesla drivers have to say about their tesla driving experience so anyway over and out and uh, we'll see you next time on test lucky